This is giant. Look at this, it's like a full conference room. I can't tell if that white truck is on this property or the neighboring property. A neighbor spotted me. That's still so crazy how far this place goes for. I just hate being so paranoid. Welcome back. I'm here in northern Alabama. We are about to go try to sneak into this massive abandoned aluminum plant. Now, ever since this place was built back in the 50s, it's had a history of being aluminum plants, the last of which moved to a different location back around 2014 or 15. Now, obviously, uh, as you can hear, we're next to a very busy highway, so I'm actually going to put this camera away and put on my GoPro because I have to get in there like really fast and quick before someone sees me. A neighbor spotted me. They gave me a thumbs up, so I guess I'm still good. I'm gonna go around back and see if maybe there's something easy back there. You know, barbed wire isn't actually that hard to climb over. So if I'm in a panicked rush, I could just get back out that way. I could have totally jumped over that metal gate, but I didn't want to do that with that neighbor watching. I know like he gave me like a thumbs up from a distance as if he was saying like, yeah, go get him or whatever. But I don't know. I don't want to risk it, you know? I would have rather no one seen me at all. I mean, look how big this place is. There's got to be something back here, you'd think. If I were really being smart, I would have come here at night. But, can't really control what time of day I explore on when I'm just kind of town hopping like I am. I could totally fit through there, though. That's my way in. This is giant. I remember, look, this is just one wing of it. There's so much more that goes down that way. This is massive. Yeah, it's a shame that it's kind of empty as it is, but like, wow, the size of this. With this being like an aluminum plant, totally would have like been driving big vehicles in here. You can see like old tire tracks, although the scary thing is that could just be recent as if people are still working around here every now and then i don't even know legit though i'm like paranoid so if i see signs of anyone or trouble or cops or whatever i'm booking it as fast as i can and i will hop right over that barbed wire i do not care whoa that's some clear water isn't it so once we get to the end of this giant massive room here it's where the corridors are going to connect the bright light over there, that's the doors I peeked in. But the neighbor was there watching me, so I was like, eh, maybe not here. The green tint over there, it's so cool. I know up front is gonna be like offices, because the front of this place did have like a nice facade with like windows and stuff. Okay, that's highway noise. I was gonna panic if I was hearing noises in here like that. And here's an office, got the big desk. There would have been some sort of computer wires hanging down there. Would have been like a big unit up there. Yeah, there hasn't been an organized 
facility using this place in a while, but that doesn't mean workers couldn't be coming like in and out every now and then, so don't want to stay here too long. Look at these. What did these hold? Water that cannot be drank. Or peroxide use only. Hydrogen peroxide. This is a crazy vibe. Oh, gross. It's like a mummified cat, maybe? Ew. These classic little warehouse flap thingies. Look at those big tire tracks on the floor. I don't know if it's just the fact that I haven't eaten anything today or what, but like I'm getting like a headache in here. Look at the rays coming down. It's beautiful. Yeah, I want to check the front offices. Ooh, it smells moldy in here. A bunch of this drywall stuff. Wow, this place is long. Check that parking lot. Make sure no one's there. I don't see anyone, but not everything is in view. There is actually some stuff left in the offices. The outer warehouse floor is pretty empty, but these still have little uh, little bits of furniture and trinkets. What is all that? Sort of weird, like little models of whatever. I just hate being so paranoid. It's like I said in the last Alabama video that I posted, it's a really different feel knowing that you have to do an entire explore road trip, possibly upwards of like 25 to 30 places like I plan to in this trip, and somehow get lucky enough in all of them to never get caught or in trouble or anything. That's really worrisome. Look at this, it's like a full conference room. Big tables, they got whiteboards and stuff, even actual business writing. Like a problem solving action board. This is cool to see all these offices still looking pretty left alone. And they got, of course, those cliche little slogan signs. Yeah, I'm not kidding, like I'm feeling woozy. Which really wouldn't make sense, like, it's an aluminum place. It's not like they use like crazy chemicals or anything here. So yeah, at one point this was broken. That's probably how people got in before. If I could manage to push this open and have it actually open and I could just walk out of here, that would be great. I can't tell if that white truck is on this property or the neighboring property. It's worrying me because I did not see it before. Yeah, look at all this. That's cool. That's like full processes for, I assume, this place. Maybe I'm feeling woozy because I'm just so nervous. Because now I'm going to way overthink that truck being there. Well, I guess I shouldn't say overthink. You can never be too careful doing this, especially in the manner that I am right now. Oh my god, I spooked myself. I don't know why, but there was a trick of the light. I thought I saw like a figure coming at me through this doorway. While we're here, let's see what is upstairs. Whoa. It's even cooler offices. It's got a window view overlooking the whole warehouse out here. I'd be jealous of this dude's office space. What is that? Whoa. Another nice one, look. That's the real conference room. These are nice. Even got nice little uh, drapes. I, I really hope I'm just being excessively paranoid for nothing. It's always the best case scenario. It's better than someone actually being there, you know? That's the upstairs, I guess. There are a lot of other heavy boot prints on the floor, though. Alright, let's just see this other side and then get out. I mean, I could jump out those windows, that'd be pretty easy. Just escape on the other side. There's another gate over there. Same gate is on the other side, the one that I jumped easily, so... Look at this big, giant, deep loading dock. Uh, they just pull the whole truck into here. Just unload it right here. That's still so crazy how far this place goes for. That's weird, look at those doors. 
Why is there a second pair of doors 15 feet up? What is this? It smells different in here. This may have been like some sort of like serious chemical room, but I'm just guessing. I might be right, look. Ethyl acetate, solid flammable waste, liquid flammable waste. Look at the stained walls too. And everyone needs to clean up. More of it over here. It's oddly clean though. Here's something. It's just another little office area. This area is kind of neat though. It's probably like a lounge room with like a little kitchen and sinks over there. Obviously, with a place this massive. There's no way I saw like every little nook and cranny, but I've seen most of it, at least the gist of it now. I'm gonna go back to the front. I'll either jump off the side, like I said over there, and go jump the second gate, or see if the very front doors will open from in here, which usually doors like that will. There was also a sign out front that said this place is watched 24 seven like surveillance, but that's nine times out of 10, just a big bluff. But at the same time, when I'm in like full paranoia mode, that's enough to make me think. There's something extra kind of creepy, but also peaceful about having a building of this massive magnitude just all to yourself without another soul inside. All the tire tracks. It's gotta be like people or workers driving through here so frequently. They look too fresh, some of them. The safety wall of fame has been removed. How unfortunate. Well, that white truck that I saw parked there, it's not there. So I don't know what's up with that, who that was. Maybe I could just walk out of here? Perhaps? Per maybe? Would it even open? It will. I'm gonna put this camera away and switch back to GoPro. Just on the off chance I have to run for my life. around everything's good all right well I made it back and I am like immediately like feeling better too like there were points in there where I was wondering if I should just sit down because I was starting to feel nauseous but it was definitely just like the nerves getting to me I guess because like I'm trying to be so careful on this trip you don't even know very first two of the locations I've already done I they've just seemed really difficult and hard to do without getting caught so glad we just pulled them both off and uh I'll see you next week for our next Alabama video.